today's topic is importance of artificial intelligence we have a brief uh, introduction of artificial intelligence now today we will discuss uh, what is the importance of artificial intelligence okay so let's start today's class first one is uh, we have uh, use of artificial intelligence in game playing like chess and uh, any other things speech recognition understanding natural language computer vision expert system heuristic classifications these are the some of the important areas of artificial intelligence where artificial intelligence can make useful of game playing speech recognition understanding natural language computer vision expert system heuristic classification now uh, how we are using artificial intelligence in game playing so let's see Uh, just a minute. Okay, so in game playing, game playing, you can buy machines that can play master level chess for a few hundred dollars. Means we have machines that have artificial intelligence and that can uh, play chess, and we can buy those machines. And how it is started from starting? There is an some artificial intelligence in them but they play well <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry they play well against people mainly through brute force computation means they have all the uh, if and buts of uh, scenarios like all the chances of playing how to what will be the next move of the opponent so they use a the brute force computation looking at hundreds of thousands of the positions so uh, they have some AI, but they make use of brute force computation. To beat a world champion by brute force and known reliable heuristic requires being able to look at 200 million positions per second. And for speech recognition in the 1990s, computer speech recognition is used at a practical level for a limited purpose. And for this, our, uh, United Airlines has replaced its keyboard tree for flight information by a system using speech recognition. As you can see that we are having Alexa now, by which you can give instruction and that Alexa can do work for you. And Alexa can recognize your voice, what you are saying. They recognize your speech and do as per your need. So United Airlines in the 1990s has started the use of speech recognition. And they replaced the keyboard tree from the flight information by a system using speech recognition of flight numbers and city names. It is quite convenient. On the other hand, while some people are very handy with the speech recognition, but there are some people also, they are more convenient with keyboard and mouse also. So uh, they are not very interested in using a speech recognition. Next one is understanding natural language. Like human, what we are speaking, this is a natural language. Just getting a sequence of words into a computer is not enough. Parsing sentence is not enough either because we have to find the meaning of what some person is saying. As you can see that uh, Google Translator fails some of the times that what you have written and it is uh, giving the translation in entirely different, that have entirely different meaning. So uh, understanding the natural language with the meaning is very important. The computer has to be provided with an understanding of the domain that text is about and this is presently possible only for very limited domains because we have to put all the information into that machine so that it can give you information based upon the context and domain. So it is very quite challenging for the machines. Now for computer vision, the world is composed of three dimensional objects, but the input to the human eyes and the computer's TV camera are two dimensional. As we can see, all the objects around us having a three-dimensional characteristics, but our human eyes and the TV cameras are also two-dimensional. So some useful programs can work solely in two dimensions, but full computer vision requires partial three dimension to understand each and everything. Some useful programs can work solely in two dimensions, but full computer vision requires partial three dimension information. That is not just a set of two dimensional views. 
yet present there are only limited ways of representing three dimensional information directly and they are not as good as what humans evidently use so what is next this is expert system uh, expert system is a system which is having a particular domain knowledge given by the knowledge engineers a knowledge engineer interviews experts in a certain domain and tries to embody their knowledge in a computer program for carrying out some task one of the first expert system was mycin in 1974 which diagnosed bacterial infection of the blood and suggested treatments uh, it is a I, it is an was an attempt to replace an uh, doctor with the expert system called mice in 1974 which is able to diagnose a bacterial infection of the blood and suggest a treatment means all the information regarding bacterial infection and of the blood has been put into that machine and based upon the case study of a patient mice can predict its diagnosis and can suggest the treatment also it did better than medical students or practicing doctors providing its imitation were observed uh, mycin that was using in 1974 can give better results than some of the practicing doctors and other medical students because uh, all the information is put into the that mycin expert system by the experts only by the experienced doctors so they are having a lot of uh, information into that mycin but all medical students and practicing doctor may not be having that much of exposure so mycin is giving a better result than all these medical students and practicing doctor the usefulness of current expert system depends on their uses of users having common sense as you can see that uh, expert system can are uh, just an if and else kind of system that whatever the information provided by the common user uh, it can predict or can give a uh, diagnosis based upon that also if a, a person which is interacting with the expert system is uh, having lack of common sense means uh, he is not able to provide you full information that expert system required then expert system can not predict as per the mark next one is heuristic classification one of the most feasible kind of expert system given the present knowledge of artificial intelligence is to put some information in one of the fixed set of categories classification is when you when you able to categorize some things in the fixed set of categories using several source of information uh, to categorize something into uh, classification we need some source of information on which basis we can differentiate those things first one is example is advertising whether to accept a proposed credit card purchase or not how we can uh, devise a thing and classify that if a person can purchase things through its credit card or not so here is some uh, heuristic provided information is available about the owner of the credit card his record of payment and also about the item he is buying and about the establishment from which he is buying example about whether there have been previous credit card frauds at this establishment uh, suppose you, um, you are having a target that if you can able to accept a proposed credit card purchase or not so you will go for some past information your past experience digging out that who is the owner of this card is he is involved in any fraud in history or not and from where he is buying is that organization is involved in any kind of some uh, like uh, establishment where they are using something unusual things like they are involved in some fraud or other things so these all type of information is already with the machine and they can take decision on the basis of that so this is the last one of this heuristic classification and you can 